Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. Yeah, this is an early spot. I'm glad that uh, still have some attendees. Yeah. Try to kick this off. Yeah. So I'm co-founder of Atats Protocol. The project is an application layer protocol about uh, blockchain advertising. What does that mean exactly? What is the application layer protocol? What is blockchain advertising? Yeah, let's go through this quick short talk. First, people usually say in the advertising industry, if you are doing a business without advertising, it's like uh, winking a girl in the night. Only yourself know it. No one else know. The girl doesn't know. It simply says it is very important to, to advertise whatever you do. When you were doing the newspaper business, when you were doing the TV business, or when you were doing internet business. Now we are seeing the trend shifting from the mobile internet to the blockchain wave. So what will the blockchain advertising looks like? So today in the industry, we see there are two challenges facing for blockchain advertising. First is no marketing channel. Second is no effective targeting. For low marketing channel, that means the traditional internet giants like Google, Facebook, Twitter, they don't like crypto ads for many reasons, for their own stakeholders' interest, for their own centralized data paradigm, or for their resistance to new technology changes. The second challenge is no effective targeting. So today, if you are a crypto project, if you want to do advertising, there are no good tools for you to do so. If you want to use some existing internet advertising targeting tool, because the user profile of internet users and the blockchain users are significantly different, there's no good tools. For example, a typical internet game user, the Apple is usually about $1, but for a crypto game user player, the Apple could be go as high as $1,000, right? If we don't have a tool that leverage blockchain infrastructure, leverage blockchain data capability, you cannot get good targeting result. So we think by simply put, put together blockchain and the traditional digital advertising, that will not result in blockchain advertising. We see there are many, there are some blockchain advertising projects out there. Uh, Atas Protocol is also so called another blockchain advertising project. But uh, as we have seen today, many other blockchain advertising projects are simply doing blockchain plus on top of traditional internet advertising. That means it tries to, some other projects tries to solve some existing problems in traditional digital advertising by using some blockchain technologies. Will that work? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, one thing we can show that uh, if we want to disrupt an industry, an existing industry, we really need to bring in 10 times or 100 times efficiency increment, right? If we simply replace the ex existing centralized advertising servers with smart contracts, that doesn't mean 10 times or 100 times efficiency increment. That means 10 times or 100 times efficiency decreasement. So by simply replacing a centralized technology with a decentralized technology, that simple move will not work in my view. So early in earlier this year, the famous um, mailing promotion service MailChimp shut down all the crypto advertising customers. For reasons we, we all well know that there are too many phishing spams or frauds over there. MailChimp has to shut down even though it generates long trivial revenue, but it has to shut down all those services to protect its business reputation. But uh, when it was shut down, some 
review also commented for blockchain advertising, maybe there should be a blockchain native solution for that. So what does a blockchain native solution for advertising look like? Before we answer the question, we first compare the stacks between internet and the decentralized blockchain. For existing internet industry, if we look at today's industry, uh, for the top 10 companies, more than half of them, their majority revenue generates from digital advertising, right? So if we look back 20 or 10 years ago, um, it, it is not look like what it is today. That means there's big potential when an industry grows, the advertising will take a significant portion of that industry. So if we believe the future of blockchain, we also believe blockchain advertising could also take a significant portion when blockchain grows. So to go back at the internet today, we have many layers on top of the underlying centralized data. It includes uh, access layer, interaction layer, and uh, and the user interaction layer. So for on the other side, if we look at the blockchain part, the stack, we don't have standard interaction and uh, interpretation layer. If we look at the internet advertising, if there was no web standard, there was no link, link tariff, no cookie, no redirection URL, there were no standard open internet at the ecosystem. So for blockchain, we also need to have such standards that allows new people, new business, joining this industry to contribute to this industry. So today's blockchain, it looks like just a, a terminal, right? That is 20, 30 years ago for the internet. You just have some data, but the end user interaction is very, very limited. It is so limited that only geeks can play it, right? And the consumers can, don't have a standard way to interact with those backend data. So the problem is we think lack of representation layer and also we lack of interaction protocol. We need such standards, such protocol to define new rich applications and to allow the native blockchain advertising to work. So for Atlas protocol, we build a team with ex-Googlers, both myself and my uh, co-founder, CTO Chen, we work in Google and uh, Freeware for many years. We are familiar, pretty familiar with internet technologies and uh, digital advertising. And uh, the project uh, was incubated by Labulous, which is also a well-known blockchain project. We got uh, many support from the industry. And uh, we also got uh, good uh, research relationships with uh, many top universities. And uh, we got support from many top world-class ventures, including SoftBank China, Venture Capital, Baidu Venture Capital, Danhua Capital, and uh, Fenbushi Capital, also Wanbok Capital. So we have a very solid team and a strong back track. And the team is trying to build a solution that uh, trying to define a new tokenized marketing that has three key features. First is interactions. The interactions is based on blockchain transactions. That means the ad is right down blockchain, blockchain transactions. For example, if I give you a transaction, a third party ad, advertiser can jump in and say, I can waive this transaction fee, but uh, in compensation, I will show you an ad. Will that be interesting? The second highlight feature is intelligence. We need to use the blockchain data, use the blockchain addresses, the user transaction histories, the user 
smart contract invocation histories based on that user interest, we do smart ad ranking targeting, just like very similar to the computational intelligence uh, internet ads. We use advertising, we use ranking mechanism to select highly relevant user targets. The third highlight feature compared to internet advertising is of course the incentive. As a blockchain project, we have tokens to do native incentives. And with the token incentives, we can evaluate the, the loop rings. And uh, for today, uh, in the past two months, we have built an open blockchain ad ecosystem with many partners, in more than 30 partners, that uh, including uh, various kinds, such as exchanges, wallets, uh, service, other blockchains, other protocols, also other dApps. So here, let me give you a concrete a use case that it calls uh, Atlas Smart Job. So if you look at the, the top of this diagram, it is a traditional smart job. The, we're pretty familiar with how it works. So advertisers collect user addresses through social channels such as Telegram or WeChat. And after those addresses are collected, the advertiser manually do token jobs to those end users. So such airdrop way is purely human curated and uh, spreaded and uh, the, the IOI is very low and uh, there's no evaluation mechanism. So the underlying part is what we call Atlas Smart Job. So we learned from the internet advertising experiences. We build an advertising uh, system so in this system for advertisers, like a, a project, you can come up and uh, make an advertisement budget to define how much he want to drop, what's the target user profile will look like. For example, if you uh, um, form a 3D Nike dev developer, uh, if you, you may want to target, you are lucky to want to target the addresses already played other form of 3D dApps or other crypto dApps, right? Those addresses will be more valuable to you than the spreaded or long target addresses. So with the ad campaign parameters set up, the ad system can do the smart targeting for all online addresses and uh, giving the smart address list, we do smart airdrop to the end user addresses. And uh, with the ad SDK integrated in the consumer end, we can provide more rich interaction behaviors. That means uh, when the user sees the smart drops coming, he will not only see the token dropped, he will also see the context of that uh, smart job. Also, he will be able to interact with that smart job. For example, to register, to accept more incentive from this uh, advertiser or from similar advertisement. Or he can also spread the news to his friend in his network and get more incentives. So by using an uh, algorithm-driven targeted uh, smart job way, we believe it's more efficient and more interesting. Here is another use case uh, called Atlas Smart Voting. The voting, this product was uh, just launched uh, two weeks ago. It is still live as today. So we worked with uh, a top 20 exchange called BitMart we provided a third-party trusted on-chain voting service that allows users to vote, to do real voting on-chain to support their favorite project list on that exchange. 
So as today, we received more than 300, uh, 30,000 30, votes in this campaign. And uh, for each vote, it is recorded on blockchain. And uh, for the project that uh, will successfully listed in the exchange, all the supporters, all the voters will get the smart job incentives from our ad system. So everything is public, on-chain, and transparent. Okay, thank you all. I think uh, we are running out of time. Thank you.